Have you ever been Phil Browned as a punishment? The managers decide to do a team meeting outside where it's cold and have you all sat down? As yeah, a... yeah. The, the worst one's like, you know, if training's been shit and the, 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 the standard's been sloppy and quite often the manager will stand back and let the coaches take the session um, but if the, if the training's that bad like he'll step in and go whoa whoa whoa, whoa come in come in and you're going to well hold on I mean, like, you can see like a couple of people have given the ball away um, Victor Moses springs to mind and I, I, he was a great player Victor Moses but we used to call him the session wrecker <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and it's harsh it is harsh but if you played with him you know what I mean um, like really talented player like great on a Saturday awful trainer and um, yeah I mean he would he would just wreck the odd session and like then it sort of goes into other people's play and you know the session would go badly and then the manager will call it in and go like do you think that's good enough we've got Liverpool on Saturday do you think they're training like this these kinds of things just to butt your ideas up but then the next sort of passage of training you know, it's quite nerve-wracking. You're like, <laughs> if you're on the ball next and you've got a clip of, you know, 20-yard ball into the front man or something and you and you mess that up, <laughs> oh, it, it's like spirals and sometimes you can't get out of a terrible training session. It's just a terrible <laughs> training session and you just got to write it off. But it's the day before a game. These, these happen, you know, these do happen. I always remember we did a... Um, oh, God, we did a, we did a passage of play, shadow play. It was like... Goalkeeper to the uh, to the centre half, centre half along the back, down to the full back, into the front man, set in behind, you know, run up, cut it back, finish into an empty net. So totally unopposed. I remember we were going through this little spell of playing badly, like, and almost like I remember the ball went off the pitch a little bit, and you know, and we're not playing against anyone here. Bearing in mind, the ball went off the pitch, we retrieved it, and we got back in, and then someone tried to ping a pass that went out of play, and it was all getting a bit wall. So the manager stepped in and said, "This is fucking useless, right?" <laughs> anyway, it, I always remember it. Went back to our centre half, and obviously the goalkeeper, because he's not threatened, there's no opposition. He's come out of his goal a little bit, and I, I remember he went to pass it back, but didn't look and scored my own goal. Oh. <laughs> so we were basically one nil down against no one. Right? <laughs> Needed to return, um, you're picking balls out of bottom. Yeah, and I thought, oh my God, we've lost 1-0. And we've fucking not played anyone. Like, what chance have we got tomorrow? <laughs> Who, what team was that? I'll tell you. <laughs> oh no, come on. Come on. We did all right that season as well. <laughs> that's, I don't think that's ever been done, is it? Go 1-0 down. We to lost 1-0. With, with no one. Doing a shadow play. <laughs> we wrapped it up and it was one of them where you just wrap, you go... That was embarrassing. <laughs> Hi, that was. If anyone saw that, that was shambolic. I think. I think sometimes you play. You play well on the on the Saturday. You know, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just, and also people get you get more nervy because you know, like people are watching you. It's hard. It's like not that people aren't watching you on a Saturday, but it's just the lads are ruthless. And if you know one little pass wrong, so people are. Oh, it was just bad state of affairs. <laughs> <laughs> 